Okay, so let's talk about it. What do you think? Biased and unbiased, what do those words mean? What do you think? Okay, so bias is putting like your opinion in it, right? Versus unbiased would be like based on the truth, right? Um, so it's kind of hard to talk about it so abstractly without it being if I have to be honest. I will tell you these. People attending a football game were asked what their favorite sport was. Do you think that pulling those people would be biased or unbiased? Biased. Why? Football game. Because they're at a football game, right? Mm -hmm. So if you ask them what their sport is, I mean, a lot of them still can say something else, but if they said, if they said football, well, again, you're at a football game, right? So where might a better place to ask people what their favorite sport is? I don't yeah, maybe like even just a class in school, right? Like every class in school, okay? What? Except right, except at a game. And if you were somewhere random, or like a cafeteria, then that would be a random place where you can expect to have all different types of people. Okay, let's see the next one. Orchestra students were asked if more money should be spent on the athletics for a fair. Do you think that's biased or unbiased? Why? Because orchestra, well, so they might like orchestra better than that. Right, so if they're an orchestra, then I'd be like, no, don't spend the money on athletics, spend it on us, right? So that would be a biased place to ask. So again, where should we ask people uh, about spending money in orchestra? Uh, or on athletics even. Again, somewhere where it's just completely random, right? All first period students were asked where they want to go to college. Do you think that what class you're in is affecting which college you're going to go to? No. no, that would be a totally unbiased, that should be unbiased, okay? People standing in line to see the latest Twilight series movie were asked what their favorite type of movie was. Bias, because, well, they're obviously at like a horror kind of movie, right? So then they're probably going to do that. Twilight is horror. horror? I know. I thought it was just a beautiful romance. I don't know. I think some parts of it are kind of scary. Anyway. Alright, does anybody have a question about biased and unbiased? Honestly, when you're looking at these types of questions, you want to make sure that whatever it's asking you, that it doesn't seem like it's leading you someplace. Uh, let me give you another example. Um, I went into uh, a Mexican restaurant and asked people what is their favorite type of food to eat out. Would that be biased? No, it's biased. Right, because where am I? At a Mexican restaurant. But if I'm standing outside of Kroger and I'm asking what type of food do you like to eat out the most, well then it's not it's not outside of a restaurant. So I mean that kind of makes sense. Okay? Alright, so now what we're gonna do in just a second, and this is what you need to know for paper four, okay? You're going to discuss how to solve a problem. You're going to present your thinking on a poster, kind of like you did before with the uh, probability stuff. Okay? And then we're gonna do a gallery walk. Alright? So, I'm going to do the first one for you, and this I'm group number one. Okay? And I'm group number one, the things that I want to see on the poster, okay? It says, which of the following statements is true without randomly selecting one letter from the word statistics? Okay? So, on my poster, I'm going to have this problem actually taped down. Okay? And so now I'm going to come over here to the side and I'm either going to prove or disprove that answer. Okay? The probability of selecting a vowel from the word statistics is 3 out of 10. Well, in the word statistics, how many vowels are there? One, two, three out of. Is that true? Yeah. Okay, let's look at B. Oh, oh. I'll hold you. The probability of selecting a vowel is three times as likely as selecting a consonant. So vowel, there were three vowels. Consonants, there were what? Seven. seven. Is that three times as much as seven? No. No. So that's not, that's not the case. Okay? C. The probability of 
whether you're selecting a consonant from the word statistics is, I think that's a seven out of three, right? Seven out of three. No, it would be what? Seven out of ten. And D, the probability of selecting a consonant is seven times as likely as selecting a vowel. No, no. no because what you're saying is um, that vowel times seven is equal to consonant. Well, that's not true, right? Because vowel was three times seven, and that's not equal to seven. So you see what I'm saying? I didn't do a ton of work. I just did enough to prove or disprove all the answers. I could have also added the seven for vowels. And these are yes, like total here, something like that. But I'm not asking for a lot. And that literally took me, what, two minutes? Not very long. Okay, so I'm going to give your group one problem. If you're at home, pause the video. Okay, so now you're going to do a gallery walk where you're going around to see if the group did it correctly or not. If they did not, write on your paper what they did wrong. Do that three times, okay? Then you're going to do the rest of the class cards in class, whatever you don't finish, and it's homework.